What's going on YouTube? Hope you guys are still having a great day. I'm back in the game with another video and welcome back to my channel, NC Tub TV. All right guys, so let's talk about Jay-Z because this clown has found his way back into the news. Now, if you don't know, Jay-Z has partnered with the NFL to enhance the NFL's live game experiences and to amplify the league's social justice efforts. Now, this decision and behavior by Jay-Z is definitely suspect due to the simple fact this comes from a man who turned down to do the Super Bowl halftime performance and he also tried to talk Travis Scott out of performing at the Super Bowl this past February. So I guess Jay-Z feels that he's a billionaire now and he can go and sit in the room with the good old boys and talk about business. I guess money changes things, all right, especially when you get to that billionaire status. So he goes against the grain, he partners up with the NFL and people all over social media are coming for Jay-Z. Now, while he was in a meeting with Roger Goodell, Charlemagne the God asked him an interesting question. And I want you to check out how Jay-Z was stumbling and really couldn't really come with a direct answer to Charlemagne the God. It was almost like he was answering a question with the question. So without further ado, let's check out the audio and then I'll be back to continue the video. Right, that's that's his version of action 
item. This is our version of the action item. We all do different things. We all work differently for the same results. So I'm not really doing Hopefully, he doesn't uh, knock it on me. And you can talk to him about bringing him into the project. Oh, we, we had a conversation. All right, guys. So first off, I want to apologize for the audio quality. You could definitely hear that someone was putting pencil to pad and there was a lot of scribbling in the background. But hopefully you heard the gist of the conversation between Charlemagne the God and Jay-Z. And Charlemagne the God just basically asked him, said, yo, a lot of people want to know how can you partner with the NFL when the person who started the peaceful protest and Colin Kaepernick doesn't have a job. Now, Jay-Z told Charlemagne the God that he thought that that was a great question, but in my estimation, if Jay-Z was about his business, I would have put Roger Goodell on the spot and asked him right there in the meeting room, why doesn't Colin Kaepernick have a job? Make Roger Goodell sweat and answer those questions and put the pressure on him because we all know that it's deeper than football of why Colin Kaepernick is not in the league right now. Now, Jay-Z also alluded to the fact when they asked him, did you talk to Colin Kaepernick before you made your decision to partner with the NFL? Jay-Z said that he spoke to Colin Kaepernick. Well, Colin Kaepernick's girlfriend by the name of Nessa said that, yo, this is a lie. So let's read what she had to say on Twitter. She said, this is a lie. Colin Kaepernick never spoke to Jay-Z or the NFL ahead of the deal that's being done. They never included him in any discussion. So we lying now, Jay-Z? That's what we doing, cuz. Now, Colin Kaepernick, while the deal was going on, he took the time to post this onto his Twitter account. And he states, today marks the three year anniversary of the first time I protested systemic oppression. I continue to work and stand with the people in our fight for liberation, despite those who are trying to erase the movement. The movement has always lived with the people. He's absolutely correct while throwing shade at Jay-Z at the same time. Now, Colin Kaepernick has a good friend in Eric Reed, who was Colin's teammate back in San Francisco, and he started to support Colin, and he kneeled with Colin, all right? Now, last year, Eric Reed got picked up by the Carolina Panthers after he experienced being blackballed from the lead for protesting. Now, today, Eric Reed had something to say in response to Jay-Z becoming a partner with the NFL, and this is what he had to say. He says, these aren't mutually exclusive, Reed wrote back. They can both happen at the same time. It looks like your goal was to make millions and millions of dollars by assisting the NFL in burying Colin's career. Man, I tell you, Eric Reed did not hold back. And I agree with that, brother. And I stand with Colin Kaepernick and Eric Reed's assessment of Jay-Z. Let me tell you something. Jay-Z went into this business venture based on what it could do for Jay-Z and his family, all right? This is an opportunity that clearly benefits Jay-Z. If it didn't benefit Jay-Z in no form or no fashion, Jay-Z wouldn't have been in Roger Goodell's office to make a deal with the NFL. Oh, and let me say this in defense of Colin Kaepernick before I go any further and I forget it. Listen, a lot of bloggers have been saying that Colin Kaepernick took hush money, all right, to just go away. The NFL wanted him to go away just to end a lawsuit. So Colin Kaepernick agreed to a settlement and he's no better than Jay-Z in this situation. Let me tell you something. Now, me personally, I would have held out. That's just my makeup and who I am as a man. But Colin Kaepernick eventually wanted to get back out on the football field. And you have to look at the dynamics like you have a lawsuit against the NFL. How do you expect them to want to give you a job so you can get back on the field and play? So I think that Colin was of the mindset that, hey, yo, I'll take the settlement and hopefully I'll get picked up by a team. Now, in my estimation, that still didn't work because Colin Kaepernick is still without a job. Now, whatever financial agreement that Colin Kaepernick and the NFL came to, I believe that Colin Kaepernick deserves every penny because they took away this man's right to peacefully protest. Due to the simple fact that Colin Kaepernick hasn't been offered another job ever since his days were cut short in San Francisco. But you know the excuse that they use of why Colin Kaepernick is not in the league because they say that he's washed up as a quarterback. 
I can't name 30 quarterbacks that are better than Colin Kaepernick. And I truly believe, guys, the fact that Colin Kaepernick hadn't played well for a couple of years and then he decided to take that stance, it was an opportune time for the NFL to say that the fact that he had two down years as a quarterback, that is the excuse that we're going to use going forth because we don't like the stance that he took. You know what, guys? Jay-Z is just a puppet. No matter what he does from here on out, I'll always see him as a puppet. How are you going to go from backing Colin Kaepernick to signing a deal with the enemy? Well, I guess the saying is true, and I'm going to paraphrase it, but y'all know where I'm coming from. You know the saying? What one brother won't do, the next one will. Jay-Z is clearly a representation of just that. And even though he might have signed this deal and he thinks he's getting in all buddy-buddy with the good old boys, let's see if they have that same energy for Jay-Z if he were ever to apply to own his own NFL team. Let's see how far that will go. But anyway, guys, I'm going to let this go and let y'all have at it in the comments. Drop down and give me your true thoughts and assessments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, share this video and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's all love here, all right? And also smash that notification bell to be notified of when I will drop my next video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Be blessed. Peace.